One of my clients recently asked me if they could get a text message when somebody fills out their contact form instead of an email. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that for free using something called email to SMS on your WordPress website. This method is great for small businesses who just want a quick heads up when somebody fills out their contact form. But keep in mind, this isn't a perfect solution for every situation. It only works for US phone carriers. The text can take some time to go through and it doesn't scale well. You also can't reply directly to the text as a text. So if you have an international phone number or if you need to receive text quickly, if you need to reply directly to the texts, or if you need to send and receive a lot of texts, you should consider a paid SMS service like Twilio or ClickSend. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Contact Form 7 because it is simple and it is free and it is lightweight. But you can do this with pretty much any web form plugin that lets you customize the email notifications. So let's get started by quickly going over what email to SMS is. Every major cell phone carrier has an email to text gateway. This allows you to send an email to a special email address and it gets delivered as a text. So instead of sending an email to an inbox, you're sending it to your carrier's SMS email gateway. And then the phone carrier converts that email to a text message. So to get that working on your website, let's go ahead and install your web form plugin. Okay, so to install contact form seven, we're going to go to plugins and then go to add new plugin. And then in the top right, we're going to search for contact form seven. And it's going to look like that. So you can click install now. And after that installs, go ahead and click activate. And then this plugin installs with a default form. So we're just going to edit that default form. So to do that, go to contact on the left sidebar and click contact forms. And then we'll just edit this existing contact form one. And now this is how the form is set up and you can do that however you want. But what we really need to do here is we need to go to the mail tab. And then where it says to, where it probably defaults to say your admin email, this is where we're going to want to do the email to SMS gateway of your cell phone carrier. Now, every cell phone carrier has different email addresses that go here. I will put a list of those in the comments so you can find yours. So for me, for T-Mobile, mine is going to look something like that. But of course, with my actual number. Since it's only for US carriers, we don't need a country code. So go ahead and just put your area code and your phone number, no dashes, no parentheses. If you wanna receive texts and emails when somebody fills out this form, you can go ahead and just put a comma and do your regular email address right there. And it's also important that in the from area that this email address is coming from your domain name or else you might have problems with it sending. So you see, I have this as WordPress at VentusDesignStudio.com because that's my domain name for the website that it's sending from. And then don't forget to click save in the top right when you're done. And then now we want to get this form on a page. So we're going to go to pages and either we're going to add a new page or we can edit an existing page. I already have a test page, so I'm gonna go to all pages and then I am going to click edit on my test page. Okay, so now we can add this form as a Gutenberg block, a short code, or in a widget in the page builder you're using. I'm gonna show you as a block here just because it's the easiest. So we're gonna click this plus sign to add a block and we are gonna search for contact form seven. There it is. We are going to select that and then are, we are going to select the name of the contact form, which is right there. And then we are going to click save in the top right. Now that that's saved, let's go ahead and click this icon to view the page. You guys are gonna have to forgive me that this page looks all ugly because it's just a testing page and apparently it's not in the container of my website, but that's okay because all we need to do is test the form to make sure it works. So go ahead and put in your name, your email address, your subject, and a message if you want, 
and then click submit. And what we're going to do here is we're going to see how long it takes for the text message to go through. Because remember, like I said, it takes a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my information. I'm going to hit submit and then I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to tell you how long it's going to take me in this circumstance today with my phone carrier how long it's going to take to go through. That's not saying it's going to be the exact same amount of time for you, but at least you'll get an idea. Okay, the message has been sent and it is 2.58 p.m. And yes, I did go ahead and put my correct phone number in. I didn't just send this with ones. So let's go ahead and pause and then see how long this takes to go through. Okay, I got the text and I got it at exactly 3.08. So we're going to assume that it takes about 10 minutes to go through. Now, if your test text didn't go through, let's talk about some reasons why. First, it's possible that your carrier is filtering these messages. Some cell phone carriers block email to SMS messages as spam. Unfortunately, there wouldn't be much for you to do in that situation. Except maybe change your phone carrier, but probably not worth it. If your message is too long, it's possible it got cut off. Some SMS carriers stop the message at 160 characters. So if that's the case, keep the message short or just have the text message say an alert like, hey, check your email. Somebody filled out your form. Just for the record, I use T-Mobile and this isn't an issue with me. It's also possible that your website server SMTP is blocking it. Again, the best way to make sure that this isn't happening is to make sure that your from email is from an email address that includes your domain name. And of course, that SMTP is working with your web server. You can check your logs to see if this is being blocked or delayed. And if you're not sure how to do that, go ahead and contact your web host and they should be able to point you in the right direction. And that's it. Now you have a website form that alerts you when somebody fills it out with an SMS text message. If that was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. And if you're building your own website, make sure to check my description for your free nine step roadmap to DIY your first website, which will take you through everything you need to know from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.